Hi, I'm Klausum here again with a new video, finally. And I have an Amiga, but it is not working. Uh, so I hope you can help me with that. So let's just first open it up and check inside. The problem is that the sound is distorted and it's on the both channels. But while I'm opening this case, let me just tell you why the Amiga is important to me and what it represents for me. So I'd never had an Amiga myself. My brother had one, so I was visiting him and then I was playing with the Amiga. That's where, I'm a, that's where I have my memories from and I have lots of great memories. It really represents a different era and also a different place than what I'm used to. I was living at home with my parents and uh, they were strict and uh, my father would drive carefully and relaxed and sensible and I only got candy sometimes on Saturdays, just a little bit. And the food was just healthy foods like fish and vegetables and and I never saw my parents drinking or smoking. Everything was just very stable and predictable and great. But visiting my brother was something completely different. That was freedom compared to home. Uh, I remember first time stopping at the gas station and he would ask me if I wanted a hot dog. And I thought, uh, I don't need a hot dog, I mean. And my brother was telling me, don't be modest, you want a hot dog, don't you? And okay, I can have a hot dog, that was unheard of on a regular weekday. So I could have hot dogs and ice cream and candy. And at home, it was eating, we were eating pizza and uh, I was allowed to watch couple of seconds of porn and some horror movies and <laughs> we'd go to the beach and uh, admire girls and this was completely different. My brother was this big role model, right? So everything about him was the best. He was the best. He had a fast car and had a big so sound system with subwoofers and we would listen to 90s uh, Eurodance music. That was great. And um, Also, my brother could actually beat up Arnold Schwarzenegger, he told me, <laughs> and I believed him. And um, everything about my brother was, he was the best in everything. Also, his computer was the best computer. It was an Amiga, of course. And I played a lot of games on that computer, like um, Turbo Racketti, the Finnish game, Turbo Racketti, and uh, Dogs of War, Pinball Dreams, Rainbow Island, Tanks. But my favorite game was Lotus Turbo Challenge 2. And also the music in that game is just fantastic. And I loved the winter track. But I had to get past the fog track. That was very hard to do. But uh, that, made the, that made perhaps the winter track even more special. So that was a great game. Also I remember one time uh, my brother had all of his friends gathered in his uh, apartment. And I was making animation, an animations on my then Amiga 1200 and I was making of course some vulgar animation of some guy fapping and he would come <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my brother told his friends that was there and they all laughed like crazy they thought it was hilarious so I have so many good memories I also re remember we would sit on the balcony and then we would throw we would eat spaghetti and we would throw spaghetti out the balcony on the people walking under. <laughs> Just crazy. Um, but I have so many good, good memories of that uh, time and that place, that era. And that is what the Amiga represents for me. So I really want to get this Amiga working again. And I hope you can help me with that. So I have googled this problem and it seems like uh, there could be uh, different options. Different, different things. Um, the caps is one thing, uh, polar chip is another, but also some other chips I could re perhaps replace, but I'm not sure if that is the problem or not. So is it possible for me to identify what the problem is, perhaps only using a multimeter? My brother does have an oscilloscope and my brother will surely help me. But uh, if you have any suggestions on how I should proceed next, I would really appreciate some help here. Because I really want to get this Amiga working again. So yeah. Well, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.